guys, it's Di from Be My Most Style, and today I want to talk about what the kids are getting for Christmas. And harder and harder and harder to do this video because the kids have gotten older, so one, it's been harder to figure out what they're gonna get for Christmas. It's really, really easy whenever they were younger and they just, you know, were good with baby toys or whatever. But now that they're older, it's a much shorter list to choose from. But also, it's much harder to make this video because I'm home and there's always kids home at this point. Very rarely am I home when there's not other people here. So trying to find the time to do this video has been quite interesting. Um, so I'm gonna film the video and talk a little bit about it right now and then just try to like show you bits and pieces um, over it. So first of all, the kids are very into Pokemon right now. Both kids are. And Isabella is also very into Harry Potter. Um, they both really like Legos and Natalie is traditionally has always been my doll girl. She loves dolls. Obviously she just had her birthday party an American girl. So she loves doll stuff. So, um, for Christmas, what they're, you know, getting pretty much lines up with those likes and dislikes. So what they had on their wish list were a number of items from the our generation line. They were both really into the pets. So, they both really wanted these dog houses for their dog pets and they come with all these cute accessories and all that and um, both of them wanted that and then there was this really cute vet accessory from our generation that Isabella had kind of zeroed in on and for Natalie she plays like she's making videos in her room a lot so for her I actually found this really cool like vlogger set for that's doll size by our generation it has like a little chair set up and camera and lights and all this kind of stuff and it's perfect for her she doesn't even know it exists I don't think but it's perfect for her because she constantly will go in her room and pretend like she's doing a video with her dolls and like talking back and forth and all that so I thought that would be a really great fit for her and then we got a number of things like pajamas and like the little hooded towels that are characters and um, some throw blankets that have like their favorite characters on them. Natalie got a Frozen 2 one. She's also super into Frozen 2. And Isabella uh, got Harry Potter. So then also I'm trying to look over because everything's still in like the shipping boxes here in my office. Because I stow everything away here until I can get it all wrapped. Um, which again is harder because in all my previous offices where I always keep the gifts um, I had had like the solid doors well at this house they have there's glass in the door so I can't wrap in here you can just like shut the door and like start wrapping because even if you put curtains over it I think you'd still kind of stay through because of the light shining through anyways um so that's a bit of a challenge too but um, I got them both a couple craft sets. There's like a crafting loom. Isabella's very into making those like rubber band bracelet things. I got her some of that and also a science kit, like the rock growing kit. And um, Natalie, I got her a little frozen um, necklace making kit. And then um, I think they're gonna share it. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work yet, but we also got this like planetarium thing that puts like star views and stuff like that on the ceiling. I thought that might be fun for the playroom. So anyhow, that's kind of the long and short of what they're getting for Christmas. Um, we try not to do like really big gifts, like so, like a Nintendo Switch Lite. So that was on Isabella's wish list, but not necessarily Natalie's, but I feel like if you get one of them that, you kind of have to get them both. So I think what we're kind of starting to air to is like if they want a big gift like that, we're doing it more for birthdays. That way it's more like we can do one-to-one -one right now. We may hit a point where we're not able to do an exact one-to-one, -one, but it's like for Christmas we try to do both kids are getting the pet to dog house. Both kids are getting an hour generation set. Both kids are getting Lego sets. Both kids are... So we really try to keep it as even as possible so there's not any like she got that and I got this. But that being said, I do think that it gets a little bit harder each year to do that. And especially as we're starting to hit that point where Bella's starting to phase out of toys, but Natalie's still into them. I can definitely see going forwards in a year or two where we may hit a point where Bella's just flat, not as into toys when she's in middle school. And Natalie will still maybe be into them at that point. She's always been super into dolls. 
So anyhow, it's just like every other stage. You just navigate it as you go and try to make the best decisions as you can. Um, but that is what we're planning on doing for Christmas this year. So let me know what's on your kids' Christmas wish list. And I really feel like it's getting tougher and tougher. Like it was so easy to buy for them when they were babies, you know, because they really kind of love everything. But now like they have such pinpoint zero interest, like down to like favorite colors and everything that, you know, really trying to keep it even seems like it's gotten a lot harder. Um, so let me know what you try to do for Christmas um, and what your kids are wishing for this Christmas. And hopefully, um, we'll be able to share a little bit of our Christmas morning as well. I haven't really decided what I'm going to vlog yet, um, but I will try to share that as well. So thanks so much for watching today. Wishing you a very happy holiday, and I will see you in another vlog very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.